The perineum is a structure that covers the exit from the pelvic cavity. It has a rhomboid shape and has the following borders. The pubic symphysis anteriorly, the apex of the coccyx inferiorly, the lower branches of the pubis and ischium bones, as well as ischial tuberosities bilaterally. Watch more videos in the Easy Anatomy app. With Easy Anatomy, you can learn much easier and faster. We provide a comprehensive video library, related PDF notes, and atlas sections with engaging flashcards. Download Easy Anatomy from the link in the description. In the center of the perineum, the so-called central tendon of the perineum is located. The median perineal raphe runs along the perineum in the antero-posterior direction. The structure of the perineum includes a fairly large number of muscles. The line connecting the ischial tuberosities divides the perineum into two important zones. The urogenital diaphragm and the pelvic diaphragm or the anal triangle. Let us now cover the muscles of the urogenital diaphragm. In men, the urethra passes through it, and in women, the urethra and vagina pass through it. The muscles of the urogenital diaphragm are divided into superficial and deep ones. The superficial muscles include the superficial transverse perineal muscle, the ischiocavernosus muscle, and the bulbospongiosis muscle. The deep muscles include the deep transverse perineal muscle and the sphincter of the urethra. Let us examine each muscle in greater detail. The superficial transverse perineal muscle. It originates from the ischial tuberosity and inserts into the perineal body. It strengthens the perineal body, supporting the internal organs. The following structures innervate the muscle and supply it with blood. The ischiocavernosus muscle. It originates from the ramus of the ischium and inserts into the corpus cavernosum of the penis or the clitoris. Function. It maintains the erection of the penis or clitoris by pumping them with blood. The following structures innervate the muscle and supply it with blood. The bulbospongiosis muscle. In men, it originates from the lower surface of the bulb of the penis, and in women, from the perineal body and the external anal sphincter. In men, it inserts into the corpus spongiosum of the penis and the superficial fascia. In women, it inserts into the dorsal surface of the clitoris. Function. In men, it provides compression of the bulb of the penis, promoting urination and ejaculation. In women, it narrows the vaginal opening, promotes compression of the greater vestibular gland and the bulb of the vestibule. The following structures innervate the muscle and supply it with blood. The deep transverse perineal muscle. Origin, ramus of the ischium and inferior pubic ramus. Right and left muscles cross, forming the perineal body. Function strengthens the central tendon, compresses the urethra in men, and both urethra and vagina in women. The following structures innervate the muscle and supply it with blood. The sphincter of the urethra. In men, circular fibers surround the membranous urethra. Radial fibers are woven into the capsule of the prostate gland. In women, circular fibers surround the urethra and the vagina. Radial fibers are woven into the vaginal wall. It compresses the urethra, as well as the vagina in women, promoting the retention of urine, and radial fasciculi, on the contrary, dilate the urethra. The following structures innervate the muscle and supply it with blood. 